Hey, it's Luke J with CATI. Welcome back for uh, another week, uh, uh, Tips and Tricks. Today we're going to be discussing the difference between ASA and PLA. Uh, I'm going to have Ryan Hannigan join us. He's going to touch base uh, on the differences between the two materials. Uh, that, that's been the top. That's the topic for this week. That's what I got requests on. So uh, send more requests in, and we'll do videos in regards to that. All right. So let's go ahead and talk to Ryan. All right, Ryan, let us know what is the main difference between ASA and PLA. Well, PLA is one of the more common thermoplastics used on hobby machines and uh, desktop printers. It's rather inexpensive, but the drawbacks are it's got a low heat deflection temperature, so it starts to soften at about 50, 55 degrees Celsius. And for some applications, that doesn't quite cut it. While it is inexpensive and it's good for certain applications, like doing models for setting up a floor plan like we did with our facility, we printed out models of our machines and use those to figure out how stuff would fit together. Uh, for some applications, you want to go for something a little bit more ductile, a little bit more heat deflection temperature, such as ASA. So ASA is nice because you have parts that are a little bit more flexible and ductile, uh, less likely to fail. Uh, it's UV resistant, so I can leave this out in the sun and not have to worry about it yellowing or changing colors. You can do some rather large and complex geometries with solid to support material on Stratasys printers. So this one's done in a couple of parts that's put together after the fact. Uh, overall, ASA is very similar to ABS and it's staple in uh, first. All right, thank you so much, Ryan. All right, so let's take a look at the MakerBot method here. Um, this is what we use to, to print our PLA parts. Um, you know, small machine, but great for uh, certain things. Uh, these are some of the heads that we have. We actually uh, 3D printed those holders for the heads. Um, you know, and that's where we kind of print the PLA. You can also do the PLA on your F-Series, uh, the 370, um, but you can also do ASA here, as you can do ASA on majority of the Fortis equipment, um, you know, on the 450s, on the 900, and on the F-Series, you can do uh, ASA. So, Thanks so much for joining me. I hope you guys enjoy the video. Um, you know, if you guys have any other requests, just feel free to shoot me an email, um, you know, buildpart at cati.com or visit our website at cati.com and you can submit the request through there. All right, take care and see you guys next week.